much, Kevin. What a gorgeous late spring afternoon in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And today, all about Lindsey Whalen, hugged by her former teammates Simone Augustus and Rebecca Brunson. It has been raised to the rafters. One of the all-time greats in this league's history, honored this afternoon. His game for the Sparks. Sydney Weiss is off to a nice start with Chelsea Gray, Tierra Ruffin Pratt. Neca and Cheney for his women's basketball team here in Minnesota. A nice seat to watch her former team. And it's collected by Collier. Flipping it ahead. Sims gets denied on the attempt. The two-time reigning defensive player of the year. And still waiting on an exciting player, Maria Vadiva, to come back from her overseas commitment. As fouls, gets fouled, and will shoot two. Hey, to have success early in the season. To give you some credit but you thought this could be a good group for Cheryl Reeve and I'll reload for her in this coaching well staff. she not only through the WNBA draft but some moves she made in the offseason as useful to make through trades free agency signings uh, she was not ready to have a rebuild year she wanted to rebuild a year ago it's a area of focus for Derek Fisher he said with all the talent that we have and the players that we have we have to get more touches more opportunities on the offensive end that floater rolls off Cheney on the follow was fouled and I only Candace Parker scored more at Brown can bring different things especially her offense on the perimeter Nice rebound inside amongst three jerseys by NECA. You think those shoes are in honor of the Sparks? Well, or? Or, or a reminder of what they may be missing? I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I guess when you're 0 for 2 in the first three minutes, maybe you, you change your shoes. Collier to the reverse, plays it in. Cheryl Reeves, so I think this is the right move. Gray hits the jumper. Here is Gray. Chelsea Gray, maybe the best... One of the top two point guards in the league as Gray hits the three. So dangerous. Too big and strong. It gives her the ability to hit mid-range shots. Dropping dimes to her teammates. The shot's not hit on the last couple of possessions, but gorgeous delivers back in Vadiva. The one thing that LA is going to need until, in order to make a championship run at different players than the last time they took the floor together. On the reverse game. Gray barrels in, has a pass deflected by Collier. Up ahead to Shepard, alone at the rim. Minnesota Lynx lead the WNBA in steals per game at 10, and it's a catalyst for what they do defensively. Get out, run the other way. Utility he will have it, whether he can go big lineups, small lineups, bringing players like Cheney off the bench. Um, he was pretty excited talking about it. Williams hits the three. Have their, you know, celebrate Pride Month or have Pride Nights now. But WNBA has been doing it longer than anybody, and the league deserves a lot of credit for that. Fouls gets the roll. And you see Collier with the twenty. This is the kind of player Marina Mabry is. She has that. Win by Collier, who's been very impressive defensively in this first. Sims banks it in. Here is Williams, her floater is off. Brown puts it in on the re Brown with a lot of space, lobs it in. The shot way off. Point they get. Thank you so much. That is our coach's interview brought to you by Kaiser Permanente. I am finished. Collier kicks. Sims with an open look, puts it down. In the finals in 2016 and 2017, both series going the distance, five games. Sims left alone for the board. Here comes Brown, flashing up the floor, was fouled and nearly spoke. you do that next time you have a great call? Oh, I already do. You're just not looking at it. His vanity? Yes. Blocked from behind by foul. Williams on the attack, got hit, and we'll go. He's down in Florida taking care of a legal matter. He, uh, summer when that court appearance uh, resumes. It was interesting, too, because I asked her, you know, about her expectations for this group. And so well, our expectations are the same. <laughs> Here's Brown. Her pass knocked away. Turnover number 11 for Minnesota. Williams blasting to the rim, gets fouled by Damaris Duntis. Order. 
Williams. As many wins as they did in the entire 2018 season. And it does feel like there could be some swings in the standings this year in the W. As Janae able to teammates talk about you, what does it make you feel? Well, just, uh, you know, thankful for the time that we got to build all those relationships. Every, every year is a different challenge. Every year, hopefully it ends up in championships. That's every team's goal. But the basically biggest rival you had yeah. through the course of your time here in Minnesota. Yeah, you know, this is, um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm happy where my, my uh, <laughs> the one would be to L.A. Um, we, you know, and I, and I think the two, our two teams, you know, those last maybe best basketball I just you make one mistake and they make you pay uh, and so it was such a great uh, classic so it was uh, fun to be a part of Lindsey Whalen third all-time in assists first all-time in wins I have great players and and I just think at, at times we were able to kind of fight through a lot of things really well together you know there were so many times that, that bucket goes down from Sylvia Fowl Plus the foul, trying to end a 15. To retire, it was always, let's do it again. Let's do it again. This is too fun. We're having a great shot by NECA buzzer beater to lose a championship. So everybody was really motivated to come back in 2017. And, and after 2015. And now L.A. is led by as many as 13. It's 12 currently. Good delivery from Gray. Cheney can't bank it in. And a foul going the other way. It's against Kalani Brown. The pieces that were long embedded in this thing with surgery and obviously she is you know the revenge title for the Lynx. Teed up by Brown, she knocks down. Giving Brown the opportunity to get the shot off with a clean look. Shepard goes back door, Collier. She'll find you an elite passer from the post position. Gray gets the defender on her hip and scoops it in a much needed. That's going to be a foul against Ruffin Pratt. L.A. over the limit. She's a small forward, and oftentimes her defender is smaller than her. But even during the draft, I remember in advance of it, you thinking that Steve Likes just gets out there and gets her job done, and she really thrived so far early in her rookie season. Tough bucket from Ruffin. Finds Dungeon. Off on a three. Fight from Collier. There's that relentless motor. And another chance for Minnesota. Daryl Reeves letting her team know. That jumper no good. Cheney can't put it in. And that will do it for the first half. Emphasis, but it was not adhered to there. Cheney in a rhythm on the jumper puts it in. Dunches lobs it in. And a foul. In her first stint with the Lynx. And they're looking for her to access that here. Gray working around the Cheney screen. Weiss goes to the corner. Ruffin Pratt finds Cheney inside who lays it in. Guntis forces it up and in plus the foul. Takes it right down the gut at the defense. A lot of contact here and still able to finish. And forces the third foul. The Brazilian big four-point contest. Neca trying to look for a shot. Instead finds Ruffin Pratt, who spins it in. That she could do with it, and she just found Ruffin Pratt. How about that delivery from Duntis? But... Here is Sims, accelerates, cradles, and cups it in. Of Neca yelling at Cheney in the in the bowels of a stadium, and I just love that picture because it's like, no, this is what you have to do. Your sister, and here's what it's going to do. Defense been of this rookie, Nafisa Collier. Finds Brown. She got it. Finish. Here is Sims. Sims trying to force it and was able to get it. Got it. And how about the contributions of Lexi? <laughs> Collier fakes the handoff. Can't finish. Kept alive by Shepard. Collier finds Shepard. She got it. Notre Dame thing. Well, that's UConn Notre Dame working really well together. Nice working together again. Time. 
the two rookies have been magic together, not only here in this game, but the entire season, looking for one another. Fine. They talk a lot to one another. They communicate on the floor. It's harder for rookie. Downs off of L.A. Sims tries the pocket pass. Fouls, the former MVP, hooks it in. Williams tees it up and knocks it down on a wide open. Williams, with Gray to her left, will pull. Can't hit the three. Gray the rebound and the foul. And then be a countdown at 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. On I'm not sure why the shot clock reset there. But it's going to be a loose ball foul against Minnesota. So no harm done. However, crack. It's the first. No matter what, it's going to be a close game. Yep. Four to shoot. Oh, what a cut. Crack. I was playing. I want to see if it works with my seventh grade team. <laughs> Williams eye off the win with what you'd expect from a Rebecca Lobo coach team. I'll just say, Abouba K hits the three. How about a deficit and now a tie game. Ooh, Mabry called for the foul. Taking a look at the upcoming WNBA national team. How they match up with one another. Both of them really run the floor well. Both Two-point Minnesota lead. Williams will take and hit from three. Here comes Williams dashing into the front court. Good look for Mabry, but she stepped out of bounds. This with 21 points off the bench in this game. Barreling in, fading away, can't hit. Brown the putback, missed it badly. And shit. Partially blocked by Nafisa Collier. Shepard gets her hand on it. Becca spins, dishes, rough and crack, bangs in the three. Screen. All right, great update, Holly. We'll give the audience any more, obviously, that comes up. Mabry comes up with a steal, gets the bucket and the foul. L.A. and their ability to get out in passing lanes. Marina Mabry was really good at this the other night, too, getting steals, gets out in transition, good finish. That's what, if you're going to go up and thrill to have a shot, to be involved. Two to shoot, fouls, got fouled. How hard do they play? Are they competing? Your teammates. Well, guys, the other thing that he said to us in decisions at the end of ball games. So she appears okay, getting ready to check back in. Derek Fisher crouching with her. As Janae buries along two. Minnesota, all of six from the floor this quarter. Fouls, ducks between two, and gives them their first field goal. Oh. Teams met for the second straight year. Sims getting some shot clock help from the crowd. Finds fouls at the deep catch. For... Williams right into her shot, and she connects in a five-point lead. Rough and frack, giving a big runway, took advantage all the way in. Sees Brown there, goes right through her for the and one. Completes the three point. Gray wiggles and gets fouled from behind. Sylvia, Fiat, Seattle Storm, take on the league leading. In the line share minutes at point guard today. 13 minutes. Sims, the rainbow three is off. Good work by Duntis on the offensive glass. Here is Collier. She got it on a three. Sims comes up with a steal. The lead to Collier lays it in. Shepard underneath to Collier. Collier finds Robinson. Three to shoot. Robinson comes it in. Timeout. Again, particularly on the offensive end. Gray hits the jumper. Dims in transition. The pirouette, the dish, and Shepard was fouled. Rough and Pratt on the foul. And she you see Shepard go up, come down, and maybe a little. Could it have been a hyperextension of that right knee?
A hush could really dish the rock that Minnesota saw play here for a long time with a lot. Fouls miss. Fouls misses the first. This is the se seconds to go. LA leads by five. Forced pass there to steal. Great hustle by Lexi Brown and on Williams. And Pride Nights in local markets. Support Pride, support your team. Get your tickets today at WNBA.com slash tickets. Sims with two to shoot. Brown has to force it up and breaks it in. Remember, they cannot review to see whether or not she traveled. They can only review to see if she got it off in time. And Now let's see whether or not she traveled before. I think she kept that right yeah, foot down. Yeah, I think you're right. It Ten to shoot. Gray on the penetration. Her jumper is good. This is the shot we just saw. Sims gets caught up just a bit on the screen, but Sims had some trouble too. 12 to shoot. Collier open and off on a three. Offensive board denied initially. And then a Collier, big free throws here. This quarter. They made 17 of their first 18. They're blocked. Eight to shoot. Back into the arms of Gray. Seeking a dagger. Gray's jumper. Short air ball out of bounds. Last hit, they'll say. Lexi Brown slapping. I think it last hit that right hand of Lexi Brown. But the other hand was on it was of running. LA initially. So is there indisputable evidence to overturn what was called on the floor? I think so. I think I think so as well. If that's the case, it would be Los Angeles ball underneath the hoop with two to shoot and 10.7. Ruffin Pratt into Gray. She got it. Ch Helps a little bit. Chelsea Gray comes back. You have to help a smidge right there. And as soon as Odyssey Sims does, it gives Chelsea Gray just the space she needed. And how many times have we seen this out of Chelsea Gray over and over? She's just going to deliver. Well, Chelsea Gray banged up late in the third quarter, was out the beginning of the ball. Collier looking to fouls. Fouls needing help. Clock winding. Clock fading. Fouls will lay it in with 2.1 seconds. Inbound goes to Gray, and Gray... Gray hits. They looking at here. Down done and evade a foul. Ruffin Pratt gets it in. Williams is fouled with one. Minnesota's been one of the real surprises how well they... Williams, big game off the bench, 20. And that will do it. Go on the road here at Target. Away the victors in what was another terrific incarnation of this.